Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another collection video. I recently put up an eyeshadow palette collection video and you guys really seem to like that so I thought I would keep the trend going and film a blush collection video. Now this was kind of requested in the comments of my eyeshadow palette video. Jenny M I believe she left a comment saying I should do another collection like how about a blush collection or something like that. And I was like, you know what, why not? These are really fun and easy videos to film and I think I'm gonna kind of throw in a little declutter in here as well cause I'm looking at my blush collection right now. It's all in this acrylic drawer and I'm a little bit ashamed, a little bit nervous. So without further ado, let's get into my blush collection. Okay, so the first blush I wanna show you guys is the only single like pan blush I have. This is MAC Raisin. It's one of my favorite shades. I gravitate towards a lot of shades like this. Nude blushes, those are like my favorite things. So I really like this color and I waited forever to purchase this. And MAC pans like this are so much cheaper than just buying like a compact like that, which means sometimes I forget to use it, but it's a beautiful, you know, perfect burnt orange, like reddish color. And I really like to wear this color in the fall. Another palette I want to show you guys that I have is the Jaclyn Hill Face Palette. Now, everyone and their mama was dying for this palette when it came out, and I actually used this palette on my face today. I used one of the blush shades. I believe I used Rosé Spritz, this one, and it's still such a beautiful palette. What is this, like two years later, a year later? I can't remember when this palette came out, but it still works amazingly well. Becca. Blushes, bronzers, highlighters are definitely some of my favorites. Honestly, there's no better formula out there. Sometimes I forget how buttery smooth these are, but yeah, I have the Jaclyn Hill palette and I did pick up the Chrissy Teigen and Becca collab today, so I'm super excited. And I also picked up the new ColourPop Super Shock Cheek palette today as well that came out. So I've already added more blushes to my collection while I'm filming this. But our next palette, this is the Holiday Palette by Tarte. This was 2016 Holiday and they did it a little bit different this time. They gave us more blushes and the packaging is super cute as well. This is a little bit different for them. They've done a lot of eyeshadow and contour palettes like this. But I believe this was the first blush palette that they did. So you get 10 shades, there's something in here for everyone. Now if you can see, I definitely gravitate towards this side. It's all those mauve shades and then this side is more of those hot coral shades. So I think this is just a fun palette. Great for traveling, you know, because it's a small size and there's a lot of variety in this. So if you guys ever get a chance to pick up the holiday palettes by Tarte, I think they're such a great deal. Now I have two of the older ones. I believe they've come out with three that are shaped like this. Um, the first one came in a case like this. It was like a silver one. I didn't pick that up. So the next one they came out with, with was this gold one. So I believe this was either holiday 2015 or 2014. I can't quite remember, but this one was definitely one of my well-loved palettes, but I haven't used it in a while, mostly because I hate the packaging and it's kind of clunky. I wish I could depop this, but I feel like I still wouldn't use it even if I did that. But this again has a nice range of blushes. Tarte does blushes really well. It's not a brand I'm completely in love with, but I must say they do have really nice options for blushes. This was the 2015 palette, I believe. Now this packaging is much better. It's very compact and very sleek. I really like it. Um, but again, I have a bunch of blushes that I really need to make some headway with. I really don't use blush very much. It's definitely not my favorite item. Like, you know how people say they're a junkie of something? I would say I'm definitely an eyeshadow palette junkie and I love right now, I'm really into highlights and foundations. I've just been trying out so many different foundations, so that's really fun for me. Next palette I wanna show you guys, this is more like a compact, but this was Holiday 2016, the MAC Nutcracker Suite. I actually picked this up so I could get the highlighter Whisper of Guilt, but this blush, again, is right up my alley. It's one of those nudie, crusty, yummy shades. I love this compact. The ColourPop uh, compacts. So I have Double Play, I have Done Deal, and the Knockout Palette. So these are really, really cute. They're super affordable, like 15 bucks a pop. And they come with two huge products. So there's a humongous highlighter, humongous blush, and I think the formula on the ColourPop 
pressed palettes is amazing and they're so affordable so if you have a chance definitely pick these up you know they have a variety of shades so if you like nudes if you like pinks pick up the you know corresponding palette and uh, I don't think you can go wrong with any of these next palette I want to show you guys is this little one by the bomb I just want to show you the Cindy luminizer because I think that's like the closest thing to a blush that they have or is in this palette. I'm really not a fan of this palette anymore. I'm thinking that I might need to declutter this because I don't really use it much. I feel like Mary Lou is just not as great a highlighter as it used to be with all the amazing highlighters we have now. And I really don't use Cindy Lou. I feel like it's too light for my skin. The only one I really liked in here was Betty Luminizer and I have that in a full size. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this palette. So next I have the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. I picked this up on from Ulta I think a while ago. Not a while ago, I picked it up when it came out. And so I really thought this was an okay palette. It was a little bit too light for me, but I can make some of the shades work. Again, another blush I picked up recently was one I've been dying to try. This is Fiona Styles blush in the shade Imperial. Again, this is right up my alley. It's one of those nice, you know, brown shades. It almost looks exactly like MAC Raisin. Here is a blush I think I'm going to be decluttering. This is Benefit Coralista, and I received this in the Masterclass goodie bag um, from Makeup by Mario. And I just don't think Benefit makes products for people with my skin tone. I know there's a lot of people with tan complexions that really like Benefit products, but honestly, I'm just not a fan. I just think that the colors are just not very flattering on me. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this blush. Next blush formula that I love from the drugstore, this is Milani. These are two of the blushes I have from them. These are their baked powder blushes. So I have the shade Red Vino and Berry Amour. These two shades are gorgeous. I really like Red Vino. This is like amazing on my skin. When I have this on, you can definitely tell I'm wearing a blush because it's just a beautiful wine shade. Um, and then there's some gold fleck running through it as well. Again, just like right up my alley, these shades. Um, and I love this, I've had it forever. All of their blushes are amazing. So if you even have a lighter complexion or a darker complexion, I'm sure if you try, like they have a shade called Coralina, I think, or something like that. So sounds like Coralista, very similar. That is also really good. A lot of light skin tones really like that. but. I love their formula and they're so, so affordable. So definitely if you're looking for an affordable blush, check out Milani. Another one I want to show you guys is this NARS one. This is Deep Throat and I used to be such a huge NARS fan. My first like high-end blush was NARS Orgasm and I went through that and as you can see this one is well loved as well. And I just put this in um, like a project pan. So I got some pricing stickers and I'm going to stick them on things that I want to finish up um, just to remind me to grab them and just finish them up because this is pretty old so I don't know why I'm holding on to it but I think even though I panned this I'm going to keep it because it's probably one of the oldest like makeup products in my collection. I just remember having this for so long so it's very sentimental. I, know, I love NARS products so I'm glad to have some NARS things in my collection. Another NARS, a few little ones that I have. I have a mini of NARS Orgasm. Sometimes you can get these on Sephora when you place an order. You can use a coupon code and sign up for like minis. So I have Orgasm and Golul. Golul. I believe this came with a VIB um, renewal last year. So these are really cute little minis. They're more like NARS eyeshadow sizes, but that's okay. I don't really need like a whole new thing of orgasm. Next, some really affordable blushes. These are the ColourPop blushes. I really like these. I have one particular um, Sonia Kashuk brush that works so well at distributing these. You do have to be really careful with the ColourPop formula, um, but let me go ahead and show you the shades I have. I have Cheerio, which is this beautiful shade. I have the shade Never Been Kissed. This is Quarters, which is a beautiful burnt orange shade. And this is one of my favorites. It's called Between the Sheets. Next, I don't want to spend too much time talking about these, but I recently picked these up in an Alta haul. These were on sale for the 21 Days of Beauty, so I'm just going to show you the colors I have. These all correspond to the shades inside, so I'm not going to open the compacts, but this is Baby Love. Love Hangover. Your Love is King. I Will Always Love You. Justify My Love. And this is the shade How Deep Is Your Love. So I really love those two face blushes. The formula on those are amazing, plus who doesn't love some cute little hard packaging. And I'm just gonna show you the inside really quick on one of these. 
They're a little bit hard to open, but they do come with a mirror and this beautiful little Too Faced emboss on it with little bunnies and stuff, so it's really cute. Next, another new favorite of mine are these flower pots from Flower Beauty. Now, this is Drew Barrymore's makeup line at Walmart, and they have some really, really affordable shades, and I just think they did an amazing job with these blushes. This is the shade Sweet Pea. It's a beautiful, mauve shade, and then this one is called Warm Hibiscus, and this reminds me so much of NARS Orgasm. It is pinky with like a gold shift to it. These are both incredibly pigmented and under $10, so if you're looking for some really affordable blush, I would totally recommend Flower Beauty from Walmart. Another affordable, brand, another affordable brand that I absolutely love is Makeup Revolution. You can find this at Ulta, and I have three shades. These two are the matte blush powders in Nude and Fusion. I love these so, so much. These used to be my go-to uh, blushes. I can still see myself constantly wearing these, um, and they're so, so pigmented, so you don't need a whole lot, and they're so soft and buttery. So if you are looking for a new affordable blush, these are like six bucks at Ulta. Totally worth peeking at. And I also have this other this other formula from them. This is the Vivid Bait Blush. And I just have one shade. It's called Make Love instead. And again, it's a beautiful mauve purple shade. I haven't worn this much. It does definitely have a little more shimmer in it. I'm not really big into shimmer blushes, but you know, I like to have a little variety in my collection, so I just wanted to try that out and see what it was like. Another really affordable blush I have is by e.l.f. These are the e.l.f. blush palettes. I actually have a review on all the e.l.f. $6 palettes, so if you haven't checked it out, I will drop it in the description box or in the cards. Um, you definitely want to check out these palettes. Again, they're only $6. You get four shades each, and these are so, so pigmented. This is actually the light palette and it works really well with my skin tone the dark one is very dark so if you're you know lighter than me you probably don't want to pick this up but definitely this one will work with any skin tone because it's so so pigmented a little bit goes a long way and these are super customizable so you can pop out all these shades and mix and match with their bronzers their highlighters you can basically custom make your own palette with these so I think this is an amazing product from the drugstore definitely underrated and more people should try these out Next blush I have is a NYX Ombre blush. I'm actually decluttering this one. I never use it and I really don't like this color very much. It's very, very like pale peachy and I think it's just look better on somebody else. So this is the shade Strictly Chic. And these were really, really kind of a breakthrough product when they first came out. I think the only place we had seen Ombre brush blushes was by MAC. So when these came out, they were kind of a hit. But yeah, I don't really use this so I'm definitely decluttering it. Next, another one I'm decluttering is the Too Faced Sweetheart Blush in the shade Perfect Flush Blush in Candy Glow. This is just too much glitter for me. I don't like these shades. They were on sale at Altamon, so I picked up two. I think that was like 10 bucks. So I was like, oh my god, that's such a good deal. So I bought it, but I really don't like these and I'm never going to use this, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. Another blush I love is this one. This is by Studio Makeup. Um, and this is the Soft Blend Blush in the shade Wildflower. This is so pigmented and I got this in a BoxyCharm and I see it in some people's blush collection because they got it through a BoxyCharm, I'm assuming. And I just love this blush. It's so, so pigmented. Even though it's like a pink, it's very muted pink and I love this color. So it's definitely staying in my makeup collection. This is a new one for me. This is MAC Lovejoy, and it's kind of in the same family as Warm Soul that everyone loves. Warm Soul is definitely not going to work with my skin tone, but I also decided to pick up Lovejoy, and again, it's right up my nude golden highlighty alley. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful MAC blush, and I'm so glad I picked this up. I can't wait to play with this more in the summertime. Next is a palette I also need to declutter. This is the NARS Blame It On NARS Cheek Palette. I picked this up during one of Nordstrom's anniversary sales. This was an exclusive to Nordstrom palette, and I was so excited. This was kind of really when I was getting into buying more high-end makeup, and I just thought this was such a good deal. But honestly, the pigmentation of these blushes are not as good as a regular NARS blush. 
So I was really not very impressed with this palette. I've never had a problem using up a NARS product, but this is just not working for me. And I've had it for so long, I just need to get rid of it. I need to get it out of my life. Another one I am not keeping is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Blush. These were so hyped when they came out, but then she ended up pulling them off the shelves. I didn't realize she took them off the shelves until it was too late. I had like lost track of the receipt, lost track of the box, so I was not able to return it. So it kind of hung out in my collection, but I rarely or like I really never use this and there's really no pigmentation to it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. I think it's so crazy that that whole like fiasco happen. I do hope Kat Von D goes and makes more of these like newer improved formulas. I think she had a really good idea here, but I wish it was well executed and I wish I hadn't spent my money on it. Next, I do have a lot of Tarte singles right here. These are like the holiday minis that come out. So these two shades I am getting rid of. Let me open them and show them to you. As you can see, these are a little too bright for me. So on this side, I have Amour and this is the shade Epic. So getting rid of both of these. And the rest of them I am keeping, so let me show them to you quick. This is the shade Ecstatic. This is the shade Parte Entertain. This is Classic. Embellish. And Daydream. So I really like those little um, Tarte blushes. They usually come out around the holidays with these little kits. I've typically seen them at Ulta, and they're a really great way to have a variety of blushes and not really huge sizes and not spend an arm and a leg on blush. So another blush I love, love, love so much is this Becca blush called Sweet Pea. Now my husband calls me Sweet Pea, so I have like a little sentimental little place in my heart for the word Sweet Pea. So anything I can find that's makeup related called Sweet Pea, I usually end up getting. And yeah, I'm just so glad to have this again. Like I said at the start of this video, Becca blushes are some of my favorites, so I do not regret this purchase at all. And this is gonna live in my makeup collection forever. Okay, then I just want to show you another blush that I am going to be decluttering. This is the MAC Simpsons Pink Sprinkles blush. This was limited edition. This was the first MAC blush I ever bought, I'm pretty sure. I still remember going to the MAC store with my friend Brittany and picking this up and I honestly never use it. The pigmentation is awful. I think I just bought it because it was the Simpsons collection and I wanted to have something MAC that was limited edition. Packaging is gorgeous but I really don't like this color so it is time to get cutthroat and get rid of this thing. Next is another one I will be decluttering. This is the Instain Blush by The Bomb in the shade Houndstooth. This is a really beautiful mauve blush but again I just never use it. I never pick it up. It's a very purpley shade and I just don't like it. I'm not gonna keep it. Another purple, oh my gosh, I don't know what I was thinking when I picked this up. This is the NARS Afterglow Blush in the shade Bittersweet. I don't feel like these blushes did very well for Urban Decay, um, which is kind of surprising because they do so many things well. Um, there was definitely hype around it when it first came out because of course a whole bunch of YouTubers got them for free, but personally I only picked up one color and I just thought I wanted it to be different because I had so many of the same shades. I thought this would be a little different and it definitely would was different but it's not something I gravitate towards so I will be decluttering this and then the last blush I'm decluttering is this NYX blush in the shade crimson and I just thought this was a good dupe for exhibit a which is a NARS blush it's a very very bright red blush but this does um, you know blend out to it's not this red like you can you know blend it out and it is a beautiful you know flush of color on your cheeks I think definitely if you are a really really deep skin tone this would be a beautiful blush on you, but again, I never use this, so I am getting rid of it. It's it's getting out of my collection, guys. Last, but certainly not least, are these Laura Geller blushes I just picked up from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I haven't used these a whole ton, but I'm not the biggest fan of these, but I just want to show you them. I haven't tested them out enough yet to give you my final thoughts, but they're just a little too sparkly for me, but we'll see. So this is the shade Honeysuckle. This is Pink Grapefruit. This is the shade Peach Delight. This is the only one I'm considering keeping so far. This is the shade Sunswept. This is the shade Pink Buttercream. And the last shade is Tropic Hues. Okay guys, that is my entire blush collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you are notified every time I upload. So far, I've managed to upload every even number day. So I upload the second, the fourth, the 
6th, the 8th, you get it, right? Even numbers. So I like to keep that schedule. Hopefully I'll be able to keep that going. Um, if you guys have any questions, thoughts, concerns, comments, leave them down below. Thank you so much for your time and have a great day, guys. Bye.